Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, fresh new arrival, amazing, amazing car. We're just kind of finishing up the restoration of it, and uh, as we walk around, I'm gonna point out some of the things that we did, and I just uh, almost feel like I shouldn't say anything because the style alone says enough, but think about this for a second. This is 2015 that we're doing this video. This car came out in the early 60s. It's over 50 years old, right? And it is still one of the greatest uh, vehicle advancements of, of, of features and benefits and the way things work, even compared to today's modern cars. It was way ahead of its time with the fact the way the top actually unlatches itself, uh, folds itself back up, the trunk lid opens, it packages it all together, all without ever having to touch a single latch or anything, which is, uh, just amazes me still that it functions and works the way it did back in the day. You know, they've tried to replicate this car for years and years at auto shows. You know, the new Camaros come out, the new Challengers come out, and Ford has talked about doing this car, and they've done it several different times, but never have. The reason why, this is a tough car to improve upon. This is a great looking car, and, and seeing it in the video makes it even more. So, let me tell you a little bit about what we did. We restored the car, so we did things like, uh, for instance, like we painted it sterling gray, and this sterling gray color is from uh, Bentley. And what I wanted you to see was the fact that you can just read all the letters and clarity in here. And that's what you need to be looking for uh, when you're buying something like this. You know, pictures online do not give it all the justice that it needs. It's a fresh new arrival. I don't even have a window sticker for the car to describe it, so I'm just going to wing it. And uh, the winging is probably going to be horrible, maybe even worse than usual, but I'll do the best I can. All right, so work with me. If you want one of these things, we just got a couple. We're happy to mail you one. Just let me know. We'll pop one in the mail to you. All right, so uh, the sterling gray metallic paint. This is a great, great color. First off, it's timeless and it's classic. I got it from Bentley because I just feel like that's a super classy brand. Um, and this car is in my top five favorite cars. People always ask me, like, what is your favorite car, man? Well, there's so many great cars out there, it's hard to. But in my world, I have a weakness for these cars. I just love them. I wheel down the road in them and I just feel like uh, I should be in Vegas and there should be dead bodies in the trunk and that's exactly maybe what we should do. And if you want to, if you decide to buy this car, maybe we should get a stuffed doll and put it in the back of the trunk just like a dead body. But anyway, uh, I want to talk a little about the quality about some things that I feel our body shop did a little better than others. For instance, we took all the moldings off, we sent them out, we had them all polished and detailed and things like that. Plus I wanted to point out how beautifully straight uh, the panels were on here. All right. They spent a lot of time, not filler, but making sure that everything was straight, taking the dings, scratches, and things like that out over time, all right? And the panels look really straight. I'm just having the locks uh, rekeyed so that all the locks kind of work the way they're supposed to, all right? I just had these wheels and tires built as well. This is pretty cool. These are handmade, all right? And uh, they're made by True Spoke. And I got the thicker spoke because I just felt like it just is a little bit more, uh, uh, I don't know, sturdy in looks when I say that. I had the Vogue tires built as well because I love the white with the yellow pinstripe on there. Plus these are 235 uh, 5018s and what that will do is give you a much greater handling car because uh, the old tires had these really same high tires but the, the sidewall was like this so it would flex a lot while you're driving. Here you're actually going to get the car to handle a little bit but it still rides really nice. All right? Okay, so, uh, so a lot of people ask us this, they say well uh, I always hear like, what's a suicide door mean? Well, I don't really know what the suicide door meant. And there is a little bit of description online about that. It originally started with just front doors um, uh, much earlier, but look at how cool it is to get in this car. And then your person can get in over here as well. That is just incredible to me that this car 50 years ago uh, was already doing this. And look how much room there is, man. You can put, uh, several kids in there, another couple couples, right? This is six passenger comfort easily all the way. Uh, we can even add another seat belt in the back if you wanted. You could have four seat belts back here and uh, take whoever you want out there with you as well. Let's keep walking around for a little bit of the styling. I love this, this emblem on the side here. Look at how cool that emblem is. It's just, the script is still modern. It's still great looking, but it looks classy as well. All right, and they finished it off nicely with the tail panel, fuel goes right here. All right, this has an upgraded dual exhaust, so it sounds really good. And you, you know what, you can see enough from it, and I think that you're uh, already saying, wow, that's a really nice car. 
Yes, it's a really nice car, but I'm gonna show you a couple reasons why it's even a nicer car than some of the others. Let's take a peek under the hood first. All right, so come on here because uh, although you're not gonna spend a lot of time doing this, what I want you to be able to do is if you wanna take it to a car show or you wanna show some friends uh, the detail of what you've just got, we went ahead and did a couple of nice things that I feel uh, came out really nice. First off, we detailed the engine compartment, right? We painted the things like they're supposed to be. We didn't black spray bomb the entire thing and hide stuff. New insulation under the hood, correct fan shroud, new radiator, all right? Manifolds are painted. Uh, all the detailing here is done. Cables, clamps, wires, different colors, fuel filter. Uh, we put a battery topper on there as well. Gives you an old school look of the battery, even though it has a modern battery underneath of it. Two horns. We say, well, what's the big deal? You got two horns. Well, nine times out of 10, uh, we get no horns on these cars when we get them. Here we have two working nice horns. Here's the original washer bag that says Continental on it. And I don't know if Danny could show you that real quick, but it's just a cool kind of old school piece that you can't really get on uh, a new car anymore. All right, so this is probably what I feel is one of the best parts of owning this car is getting inside here because really, Take a second and look at what we're talking about. So we're talking about a car with just, I mean, great features inside. We're talking about a power seat. Power windows, okay? Power steering, power brakes, and it's all stock to dashes. So here's the original AM radio, right? Uh, here's the cruise control down here. This has a ventilation system with multiple adjustments as well. We saw that it has a full power top. All right, and hidden inside here, okay? Check this out. Here's a modern sound system. Look at that. And it runs uh, off of uh, your iPhone, so you can have uh, uh, iPod, CD, um, a satellite radio, uh, Bluetooth, so all that stuff's right there as well. And uh, it's just beautiful. Has a big 120 mile an hour speedometer. This car will definitely go 120, but uh, and that's kind of up to you. But this is designed to go for a cruise in. Like like if you went to a restaurant tonight in this car, guaranteed they're taking the Porsche or the or the Benz or the Ferrari that was out front. They're moving it to the side and they're going to park the Lincoln because when you see this car, it just makes you smile. All right, what I like to do is I like to show uh, just how beautiful this car is. It's like a ballet the way the top comes up and down. And I'll take a quick moment to show you how that works. To so check this out, the top actually uh, unlatches itself. The trunk lid back there opens up. Check this out. This is just amazing to watch this. This is 50 years old, this car, and it works just beautifully. I could watch this over and over and over. Now once you hear the click, 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 that right there, that means it's all done. Okay, so when you're talking about a car and uh, its value and its investment grade and things like that, think about this for a minute. First off, 8,000 bucks to paint this car and do it right. $4,000 just in polishing the moldings and making sure that everything uh, worked as well. The wheels and tires cost me around $4,000 to build. I, I did this car because I loved it, not because uh, somebody asked me to do all of these things. It was just, it said to me, you know what, this car needs to be brought to the next level. And the person that drives this car, I'm hoping, uh, feels the same way I do about it. It's a wonderful car. And we're talking about loaded, loaded with features. We already reviewed the power windows, the locks, the seat. Uh, I don't want to run down the whole list again, but at the end of the day, if there's some way you can get this ridiculously awesome uh, Lincoln Continental convertible in your life, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.